If you're new to this channel, we're James and Sarah, also known as The Whole World or Nothing. We used to be full-time backpackers, exploring the world and writing about our travels on our blog. And then the world changed. We got repatriated from Peru and found ourselves back in the UK at a loose end. So we decided to do a van conversion. Make sure you hit subscribe now so you can join us in this series as we share the highs and many lows of converting an old Mercedes Sprinter panel van into our dream home on wheels. If you joined us last week, you'll have seen us making hard work of insulating the walls of our van. Well, this week, we're tackling the floor. There are so many different methods of doing this stage, but the plan we had was to lay a grid of battens and then fill the spaces between them with 25mm thick insulation board. First up was a trip to the hardware store to pick up some wood, which was surprisingly difficult as most of it was as bent as a butcher's hook. But after sifting through every piece they had in stock, we eventually found a few reasonably straight lengths. So we are about to cut the battens for the floor. We're going to cut them so that they go all the way across width ways, and then we're going to put some length ways just to support those. And hopefully they're going to be in line with the bits of furniture that we're going to be putting in. So I'm trying to measure it so that the end of the bed has one underneath it, uh, the cupboards and the chairs and all the frameworks that we're doing for the kitchen are going to have battens underneath them. So hopefully that'll provide some extra support for when we're actually creating the furniture. Um, Never used one of these before, so see how that goes. Just don't chop your fingers off. Fingers still intact? Yeah, still got five. <laughs> see if it fits. Alright, that's the first one in. Fits alright? Fits perfectly. Cup of tea? This blue wood that we're using is pressure treated to make it more resistant to water. This means that on the off chance any water were to get under the floor, it shouldn't rot the battens, so it's just an extra precaution against water damage. We measured and cut each cross batten individually and placed them into position, and then repeated the process for the lengthways ones. We have labelled up all the battens, marked out on the floor where the places are, taken them out, swept the floor, given it a vacuum, cleaned it all up and now we're going to bring all the battens back in and stick them down with this which is called Tiger Seal, it's an adhesive sealant, it's supposed to be really strong, let's get to it. We've pretty much got all of our floor battens in now. Um, we were a little bit concerned though as we were sticking them down that some of them were sitting a bit proud. So Sarah's just squeezing a bit more of that stuff underneath, the sealant and the adhesive. And for the ones that were sticking up too much, we've weighted them down. We've got the garden ornaments. They're actually pretty heavy, aren't they? They're really heavy. Perfect. <laughs> Just need to remember not to drive off of them. We're gonna leave our friends inside looking after our floor. It's looking pretty neat, right? It does look really neat. I'm happy with it. How is it then? Stuck in? That is stuck, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're just about to go and get some uh, more supplies so that we can finish all of this. Unfortunately, we remembered that we need to take these things out. And I just tried to test these to see how well stuck down they are. And I literally cannot move a single one, which is a good thing. And we were thinking about um, screwing them in as well for some extra support, but I'm pretty certain we don't need to do that. Really nice that it's raining though. It's kind of ruining all of our plans at the moment. So, plan B. What is plan B? We're gonna carry on with the insulation. We were hoping to get the ply cut the floor in so that we could just do the insulation and then slot that in. But because it's raining, we're going to struggle to cut it in this kind of weather. We don't really want to be putting wet ply in. So we'll just do the uh, insulation and wait until the rain stops to actually cut the floor. Yeah. It's a bit of a pain, but... It is. Without having like a massive inside workshop, there's nothing we can do. Maybe no. we should build a big carport. Yeah, maybe. Do you think your parents would mind? <laughs> so instead of cutting the subfloor, we cracked on with measuring out and cutting the insulation that was going underneath it.
Because we'd arranged the battens at irregular intervals to position them under bits of furniture, each rectangle was a completely different shape, so we had to measure and cut them individually, which, surprise surprise, was pretty time consuming. It finally stopped raining and we looked at the weather forecast and it wasn't going to rain for another couple of hours so we thought okay let's get the wood measured out from the floor template and try and get that cut so that we can get that in as soon as we finish the installation. Mm -mm. Basically as soon as we got it laid down and the template put on top it just started raining and then it got faster and faster and faster. <laughs> so quickly managed to get the outline done um, but yeah, our wood's got wet, so not ideal. Hopefully it dries, we've just put it in the house now. But it's not like it's a little bit of cheap plywood, like the four sheets cost us nearly 100 quid because it's really good quality and thick. So yeah, really need it to stop raining. It's really, really doing our heads in. So yeah, I'm just crack on with doing the rest of this. We've got about a third of it done so far. But at least we've got the ply out of the way now anyway, so we'll try and get the rest of this done and then see what time it is. Because of the rain, we had to cut all of the insulation indoors again, which left it looking like an absolute tip. So we numbered each piece, took them out, cleaned up and put them all back in place. We've only been doing this for eight days. We started it on the 29th, right? So it's been just over a week. In fact, we had a day off as well, so seven days. Okay, yeah. And I think that our bodies are going to get used to it, but right now, I'm feeling absolutely battered. My back <laughs> is killing, my knees are wrecked from just kneeling down all day. Yeah. I just feel like I've been in a boxing match or something like that. I've played a football game, you know, 90 <laughs> minutes. So hopefully, physically, we actually start to get used to this because otherwise, by the end of it, we're going to be pretty messed up. I think it's because it's it's both physically and mentally, isn't it? Like, yeah. you can't just like mindlessly do stuff. You have to like constantly be thinking as well, so it tires you yeah. out in both aspects. Yeah, it's different physical challenges to what we're used to. You know, like we run, we walk a lot. We yeah, hiking mountains. Yeah, exactly. And all that stuff is, we're used to it, but this, just constantly on your knees, bending down, reaching up. I don't know, it's just, <laughs> it's just different movements, isn't it? Different stuff, using muscles that you don't even know are there. You enjoy your little lie down with your beer. I will, don't you worry. <laughs> Morning. So the weather looks pretty rubbish. However, there's no rain at present, so we're just getting how it's just started raining. What? It's just started raining. Okay, well we were just getting our system set up to start cutting this ply floor in. Let's see if we can continue or not. Okay, so we have pretty much measured and cut most of the floor. As you can see, all the ply is in, looking really nice, all around the edges and everything. The things that we've got left to do are, obviously there's the, the van step under here, but because the cooker is gonna overhang slightly, and also the kitchen unit that's going here with the fridge will overhang, we're not gonna have a full wet full width step as it is at the minute so we just need to decide how big we want the step um, and cut that in there obviously so that the fridge and the oven fits okay and then we've got this bit to sort out here basically because the floor that was already in and it came up to here because this is where the bulkhead was we need to create a template for this bit which is quite a lot of little fiddly bits um, but yeah, we're gonna do that out of cardboard. Hopefully that goes okay. And then that's gonna be cut out of this piece of wood to finish off the job. Proper job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, final piece in the jigsaw. 
<laughs> Let's see if it fits. Sarah spent about, how long did you spend? Maybe an hour? Yeah. Doing a template and cutting it out. I feel so nervous. <laughs> it has to be perfect. It's a bit tight. This thing it's really nearly close. So it doesn't fit? Yeah. Well, no. Second time. Oh no. Mm, it's that there. I mean, at least it's too big and not too small because you can't fix it if it's too small. Third time lucky? Mm. No, not quite. Fourth time's a charm, right? <laughs> no. Where is it stuck now? Take five. Feels like about take 25. Oh man. It's still, it's still a bit on that end. It's about one mil out. Attempt 927. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> like... What about if you do it from the, the back again? Yeah! It's in. It's in. Perfect. Spent all that time doing that because we just want to do everything properly, but no one's ever going to see this because it's going to be underneath a cupboard. So. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely pointless. Complete waste of time. <laughs> well done. So our plywood flooring is pretty much done. We've just got a few adjustments that we want to make. So we're going to do those. We are going to fold tape all of the floor and then we're gonna try and get the flooring actually put in again and screwed down, hopefully. But it's looking like it might rain again. So we're in a bit of a hurry to do it. We ended up finishing pretty late last night, so it was dark by the time we got out of here. So we didn't manage to show you where we got up to. Um, I'll just give you a look now. So we've pretty much finished foil taping the gaps between the insulation panels that we've got on the floor and that is going to act as the vapour barrier for the flooring so we're not going to be lining that with reflectix we're just going to line the wall with reflectix and come down to the flooring so with that foil tape and the foil topping that the insulation board has got the idea is that that provides a complete vapour barrier across the whole of the floor. So what Sarah's doing now is just checking that we haven't missed any little holes or there aren't any little gaps in the taping or anything that we've kind of bust through when we've been doing it last night in the dark because by the end of it we literally couldn't even see. I know. So we're going to have to give it a good check over how's it looking so far. It's not too bad actually, you know, there's just a few little few little bits that need a bit more tape. By the way, for anyone that is going to be doing their own van build, this takes ages. Like, <laughs> you think, oh, I just stick a bit of tape on. No, it takes hours and hours and hours and hours. I seriously think we need to get a lot better at goal setting though. Because oh, no. we're doing this every day. We're setting out a load of things that we want to get done. And come the end of the day, we've done probably about half of it. <laughs> And it's pretty deflating because I don't think we're moving particularly slowly. It's just that stuff takes a long time. We're trying to do it, you know, to the best of our abilities and get everything done properly, basically. And it just takes time. A lot of it's not too difficult. It's not actually just the physical act of doing it as well. Like a lot of the time we have to like sit down and think about it and then research and look up how we're actually going to do each stage. Like yeah. Obviously we did a lot of it to start with, but you can't, research and learn and plan every tiny little stage beforehand yeah so there's that bit of it as well and the rain like the reason it looks quite dark in here is because we've got the back door shut because it's raining outside again so that's annoying because obviously we have to do stuff in a different order to what is probably more practicable but yeah whatever i'm over it <laughs> i'm not really so on that theme i think for today we should probably aim to just get the floorboard, floorboard in, in, screwed down, and that's about it. Do you think? We might be done by 10 o'clock. Well, if we're done by 10 o'clock, then we could start something else. But I mean, the way that things have been going over the past few days, yeah. is, that'll probably take us all day in itself. I mean, we've got plenty of stuff that we can do inside whilst it is raining. So we need to do a lot more of the insulation and stuff like that. So it's not a problem if we get that done quickly. Yeah, that's but the deal. I think, yeah, it's best to, you know, aim low. <laughs> no, that's not right, is it? Aim, aim high, low. shoot for the stars. You've just, you've just There's a phrase in there somewhere. Shoot for the stars and if you miss, you might hit the moon. Is that it? Aim high, but not so high that you don't have a chance of 
hitting it. <laughs> Here we go. I've just Googled it. Shoot for the moon, and even if you fall, you'll end up among the stars. I've never heard that before. Now you have. But I've just realised that's completely the opposite of what I'm trying to say anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> what he's trying to say is we need to be more realistic we with what we can expect to do in the day. We've got all the floor screwed down now and it's looking pretty neat. But more than that, we've actually accomplished our goal for the day. Yes! Even in the rain. Even in the rain. So anything that we do from now on is a bonus, right? Yeah. That's all for this week. Join us next time when we'll be bricking it about cutting the first holes in our van to install our fan and roof light. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and do drop us a comment down below too. We love to chat. And if you're not already subscribed, get on it and hit the bell button too so you get notified every time we post a new video.